Welcome! In this video, we'll show you how to get started creating your own custom reports, dashboards, and datasets for account engagement reporting using the B2B Marketing Analytics app, or B2BMA for short. Let's start with a quick summary of B2BMA's three key reporting assets and how they work together. First, datasets. The dataset holds a set of source information specially formatted and optimized for interactive exploration. Next, lenses. A lens is just a fancy word for a report. This is where you do exploratory dataset analysis. Lenses come with multiple visualization and formatting options to optimize the presentation of your data. After you create a lens, you can add it to a dashboard. This is a curated set of charts, metrics, and tables based on the data in one or more lenses. When you build in B2BMA, it all starts with choosing the right dataset. You choose a dataset, and this launches the lens builder. This is why there's no Create Lens button in B2BMA. The dataset will also control the fields, records, and filters available for your lens and dashboard. In this section, we'll show you how to create a custom lens. For this example, let's create a lens that shows us which list emails have the most opt-outs. A quick note before we begin, make sure to clean and audit your data before building anything in B2BMA. For reports you can trust, you must have good quality, up-to-date data. First, let's open Analytics Studio, find our B2BMA app, and navigate to the Datasets tab. Because we want to report on list email metrics, we choose the Account Engagement Emails dataset, and this launches the Lens Builder. The Lens Builder is broken into four sections. On the left, we add and filter the data we want to report on. In the middle, we have our interactive visualization of that data. On the right, we have our styling tools. And at the top of the builder, we have our action buttons like Save, Share, and Undo, Redo. By default, the bar length displays the count of rows. This is the number of records in the dataset. For Account Engagement Emails dataset, this will be the number of list emails in your account. To measure the total opt-outs, let's click on Count of Rows and change the measure to Total Opt-outs. Next, let's organize the opt-outs into groups by clicking on the plus sign under Bars. As we want to see opt-outs by list email, let's add name and subject here. Next, let's order the emails from highest to lowest number of opt-outs. We open the drop-down menu on total opt-outs and then click Sort Descending. Now that we've refined our measurements and groupings, let's apply our filters. Let's say we just want to see the list emails sent in the previous year to today. Now let's talk a little about styling and formatting. If we want to change the chart type, we click on the chart icon. This will show all available chart types as well as suggested chart types. We could also build this lens in table mode or query mode if we didn't want to display our data in a chart format. Let's leave this as a bar chart for now. Now let's click on the paint icon to add some formatting. If this lens is added to a dashboard later on, the formatting we add here can be used or it can be updated on the dashboard. And once we're happy with our lens, we click on save to name it and save it to our B2 BMA app. Now that we've built a custom lens, let's create a custom dashboard. There are two ways you can create a dashboard, from scratch or using a pre-built dashboard template. Please note, the B2BMA app also comes with a number of out-of-the-box marketing dashboards. We always recommend reviewing those first to see if they meet your needs. If you would like to edit them, always create a clone and edit it. Never edit the original dashboard. For this demonstration, we're going to create a dashboard from scratch that lets us monitor opt-outs. In the B2BMA app, click on Create, then Dashboard, and then Create Blank Dashboard. Let's quickly explore the different areas of the dashboard designer. The left side houses your widget options. The middle of the screen is the blank dashboard canvas. The right side contains our clipped lenses, and our action buttons like Preview and Save are above. Now let's add and style a lens, a table, and other widgets to our new dashboard. We'll open the opt-outs by list email lens we made earlier and use Clip to Designer to clip it to the dashboard. Select the scissor icon in the upper right-hand corner. Give it a display label and click Clip to Designer. Back on our dashboard, we'll drag the opt-outs by email lens from the right side onto the dashboard grid. From there, we can adjust the lens to any size and add different formatting to this lens. This formatting will only apply to this dashboard. It won't update the original lens. 
Let's say we want to see this data in a table format as well. We pull in the table widget from the left-hand column, then pull in the same query as before. We can also add formatting to this table, like changing the spacing or colors. Finally, let's add in a filter widget so we can filter the dashboard to only show list emails from a specific campaign or campaigns. We pull in the filter widget, click on Filter, select the Account Engagement Emails dataset, then we find Campaign and click Create. Important to note, this only filters lenses using that dataset. If you want to filter a dashboard that has lenses from multiple datasets, you need to create a binding. This is advanced setup and not covered in this session. And once we're happy with our dashboard, we preview it. Click Save, name it, and save it to our B2BMA app. Let's look at some best practice tips for creating a custom dashboard. First, think about who you're designing for. What questions are they trying to explore? What level of detail will they need? For example, a marketing manager may want an in-depth dashboard to monitor day-to-day -day work, while a chief marketing officer needs something more high level to present at meetings. Next, think about how you're using your screen space. Present the data in a concise and digestible way. It should prompt the right questions and not be overwhelming. Consider using color, spacing, and other formatting options to segment and group information. Also, consider ordering information by importance from top left to bottom right. Aim to have a consistent look and feel across all your dashboards to speed up user adoption. For example, highlight key KPIs and metrics in the same manner across all dashboards. A consistent color scheme and layout can also help with adoption. Explore and experiment with different dashboard templates. This library of tried and tested designs may contain some design choices you want to replicate. Lastly, remember you can style the same lens differently on different dashboards, or even add the lens multiple times to the same dashboard to highlight different information. We always want to pick the right visualization for that end user and that dashboard scenario. B2 BMA comes with a number of out-of-the-box datasets, but what if you want to create a lens and there isn't an existing dataset with the fields and records you need? In this scenario, you would create a custom dataset. Before you start building, there are three important actions to take. First, think carefully about the data you'll need and the source system you choose. For example, while Salesforce and Account Engagement both have an opportunity object, the fields, the objects it can be related to, and the number of opportunity records returned will be different. Even though they're both showing opportunity records, the source system you choose will change the data set's results. Second, audit and clean your data. To create lenses and dashboards you trust, you must begin with good quality, up-to-date data. And finally, make sure you have the right access. If the data is coming from account engagement, then the Salesforce Connector user must have access. If the data is coming from Salesforce, then it's the analytics integration user who must have access. First, we'll click Create in the top right-hand corner, then select Dataset, and then Your Datasets. There are several ways to create a dataset depending on your license type. In this demonstration, we'll show you how to create custom datasets using a data recipe, which is available to everyone. For our example recipe, Let's join the Prospect and Activity dataset with the Account Engagement Prospect dataset. This will create a custom dataset enriched with both prospect activity and prospect field information. To begin, we click on New Recipe, then Add Input Data, and choose the Prospect and Activity dataset. On the right-hand side are all the different field values we can include. Most of them are already checked, but we can always add more or less. Now click Next. Now let's join this dataset to the Account Engagement Prospects dataset. We click the plus button, select Join, then select the Account Engagement Prospects dataset. On the right side, let's add some extra fields like Product Interest and click Next. Now we see several different options for joining these two datasets. Most of the time, we use the default lookup join type. This will pull in all the rows from our starting dataset and only matching rows from our second dataset. Next. We set our join keys. Both datasets include the prospect ID, the unique identifier for account engagement prospect records. So let's use that. Click on the fields to open the select join keys window. For account engagement prospects, that field is just called ID. For prospect and activity, that field is called prospect.id. Then we click add. To check if the join is working, we open the preview tab, then scroll to the columns at the end. 
These are the fields coming from the second data set. We can see values are being pulled in and look correct, so we click on Apply. Now that we have joined the two data sets, let's create our output, which will be a new custom data set. Click on the plus sign after the Join node and choose Output. Make sure the right to field says Data Set and give it a data set display label of Account Engagement Enriched Prospect and Activity. Under App Location, decide where you want to save this data set. We'll choose our B2BMA app and then click Apply. Finally, we click Save and Run, name our recipe, and click on Save. Our new custom data set will appear in our B2BMA app shortly. One final note, B2BMA's out-of-the-box datasets refresh automatically every 24 hours, but custom datasets don't. If you want this dataset to automatically refresh, remember to schedule it and give some thought to what the most appropriate refresh cadence, trigger, and schedule mode will be for it. That concludes our intro to custom reporting with B2BMA tutorial. To recap, we looked at B2BMA's key reporting assets and how to create custom datasets, lenses, and dashboards in B2BMA. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or visit us on the trail at trailhead.salesforce.com. Thanks for watching.